<laughs> Looks really weird, doesn't it? Hi, hello again. I am Blunty, and it turns out the incredibly brilliant, undeniably clever engineering that has gone into MetaQuest VR slash MR headset. Whoops. I completely lost my train of thought there when that fell off my face. Couldn't even finish a sentence. Let's start again. Hello again. I am Blunty. A lot of people are having big issues with the microphone on this thing. In this video, I'm going to explore what the hell is going on, why the designer has made it that way, and why they shouldn't have made it that way, and possibly a fix if you're having some severe issues with the onboard microphone on this thing. Stupid, stupid, stupid engineering decision. I did put up a video, uh, my most recent video actually, I'll link it in the down below as well, of some external microphone solutions you can be using with your MetaQuest uh, or any VR headset for that matter that will give you much better audio for your VR needs, but it won't work on the standalone stuff because for whatever is a Meta have decided not to open up Bluetooth or the USB or the audio input on the side for external microphones at all. So if you're using standalone apps, the built-in microphone is all you've got. And that could be a very big problem. Let's have a chat about it. The issue is with the microphone. And people are having wildly different results with the microphone as well, which is very, very concerning. Some people are perfectly happy with it, and it sounds great. Some people, uh, well, they, they don't. Let me play you a little sample clip here from Mike from VR Oasis, a dedicated VR content YouTuber. Um, and his sounds like this. This is what the Quest 2's microphone sounds like. And finally, this is what the Quest 3's built-in microphone sounds like. Yowza. So, it got me curious. I only got my MetaQuest 3 yesterday afternoon. I haven't done any proper testing with it, just dicking around basically. But I did go into VR chat yesterday uh, using the onboard microphone and nobody seemed to complain about how I sounded. So I sat down this morning after seeing Mike's post on social media there. Um, and did some testing, and it turns out they've made some really, really dumb decisions, just, just impossibly dumb decisions. So I'm going to tell you what's happening here, and possibly how to fix it. When Mike was complaining about this issue, he pointed out there's a pinhole right on the front. This is where the depth sensor is. This is the time of flight sensor right in the middle there. Um, but there's a little pinhole in the panel on the front of it there, and he suggested, well, that's the only pinhole he could find on the device. That must be where the microphone is, and that didn't make any sense to me whatsoever because putting a microphone on the front of the device would pick up more room noise and voice noise. That would be a very stupid place to put a microphone. Uh, my instinct is if that is a microphone underneath there, that will be a secondary microphone to help with uh, noise reduction because that will pick up other stuff. You know, it won't pick up the voice as strongly as wherever the other microphone is, and you can use that to help cancel out background noise. It's a very common technique to use multiple microphones to help with noise reduction techniques. Now, as you've no doubt noticed, my audio quality from my MetaQuest 3 is not nearly as bad as the problem Mike was having with huffing and plosives. And finally, this is what the Quest 3's built-in microphone sounds like. Powerfully problematic plosives are often an issue for microphones. Microphones. P. P. Pa. Poo. Poo. <laughs> I'm a child. One of the larger issues seems to be the microphone is set way too hot or way too loud, basically. If we can turn it down, we might be able to reduce some of that breathing stuff. Unfortunately, the software built into the MetaQuest doesn't allow you to control microphone volume at all. There's no slider for it, there's no adjustment for it, there's no sensitivity, there's just muted or on. In some apps, like VRChat for example, you can adjust your microphone volume and you can set your trigger level for, you know, when the microphone starts paying attention. So you can set that to a, a place where it doesn't necessarily pick up your but does pick up when you start speaking. The problem with that is it's often inconsistent. It'll chop off the start of a sentence sometimes or sometimes in the middle of a sentence if you get a little bit quiet. So it's not an ideal solution. If you were using it as a PC VR headset, as I am right now, and you were using Virtual Desktop Streamer, there are some options for you in the uh, settings screen on the app on the headset. So you've got over here, you can use the microphone pass-through or you can use an external mic like I suggested in my other uh, 
video, but right here, you do actually have a microphone level adjustment. So I can bring it down to like 34%. How does that sound? What if I breathe? I mean, that is fairly exaggerated breathing, but sometimes you're active in VR, sometimes you do huff. Let's try about, uh, about 50%. How does that sound? Do we still get the lip smacky noises? Yum, yum. <laughs> and that's 100% again with the... So, I mean, if the microphone is on the front of this thing, why are we getting this issue? Well, it's because it's not. Well, there is, but it's not. So to try and figure this out, uh, I've got my little finger over the... Um... Uh, 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 there's a little sensor in between the lenses there. It detects when it's on and off your face. I've got to keep that covered up, otherwise the thing powers down and stops working. Um, so it's a little bit awkward to hold. But first test, of course, is that the microphone? Oh dear. That sounds very much like it's the microphone. What if we cover it up? It's not the microphone. Oh. Hello, can you hear me through the microphone that I'm covering up? Yeah. So my first instinct was correct. That is indeed a noise cancelling microphone. And you can hear that it's a noise cancelling microphone because I'm not talking at it. If I turn it on like this, so this microphone is facing me, but it's not the camera is facing me. So it's really noisy to have this microphone cancel the microphone. All of a sudden you couldn't hear me, but then I turn it around and you can hear me again. So my first instinct was correct. That is indeed a noise cancelling microphone. And you can hear that it's a noise cancelling microphone because I'm not talking at it. But if I turn around like this, so this microphone is facing me, but it's not the primary source it's looking for. This is room noise as far as this microphone is concerned. All of a sudden you couldn't hear me. Then I turn it around and you can hear me again. So where the hell is the other microphone or other microphones? So let's cover that up. And we can still hear me completely. Oh, if I get really close. Oh, the microphone's down here on the bottom somewhere. Now, I've gone through this with 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 a torch, and I'm 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 looking for pinholes uh, inside the you know interface, which is why I've got the uh, interface pulled off at the moment. I'm looking for those microphones. So I'm looking around, looking around, looking around, and there's nothing there. So I'm thinking, well, is it underneath the the rubbery coating here? I mean, is is that audio transparent? For have they used a clever technique? But no, that wouldn't make any sense because that would be a very dumb engineering idea for audio. And also you wouldn't get huffing if that was the case. And huffing is a very big issue as demonstrated uh, before. So where is that microphone? So I started sort of blowing in various uh, areas around it. And I thought maybe they put the microphone in the vent, that little line around the outside, that's a vent for the cooling. And I thought that'd be a silly idea because if the fan ramps up, it's pulling you through that vent, which would interfere with the microphone. That'd be a bad place for it as well. So I kept very slowly just blowing all the way around the device, trying desperately to find where that microphone is. And guess where I found it? I found it directly underneath the pogo pins. If you look real, real close with a torch, you can see those pogo pins appear to have a little tiny, and I mean tiny, I wish I had a microscope, a very, very small hole in the dead center of each one of those metal pads that are the pogo pins. Now, if you don't know what pogo pins are, these are the contact points for a charging. They sell a optional charging base for this. You can just place it down into it and it will charge. And that's what those contacts are for. There are little pins that stand proud on the charger that touch those metal pads in there. And it appears that's where meta designers have decided to put the microphone, which is a very clever idea, you might think except for the fact it is right next to your nose, which is why we get that huffing. So how do we fix this? Maybe they can fix it in software by making the noise cancelling much, much better. Probably not though. My plan is to sacrifice a little bit of audio foam that I can recover from some microphone cover that I've got somewhere um, and try and place that over there. Um, and it might work with ordinary foam, but if you can sort of recover something, like I'm going to strip some foam out of this little fuzzy thing here, which has a little bit of audio foam in the middle of it. And audio foam is a little bit different to regular foam. You might pull out of a cushion or something. It is designed to be audio transparent. Um, so you might F up your sound a little bit if you'd use any old foam. Um, but, you know, we'll try this and we'll see how we go. 
Hi, behind the camera now, let's go. Whoop. So this is the donor material I've got here. This is just a, uh, a wind muff off a microphone, a dainty microphone, as a matter of fact. Uh, it's just a microphone that I don't use much anymore. And even when I do use it, I very, very, very rarely need this. So I can afford to lose this. Um, so it should have a little bit of, yeah, there we go. A little bit of audio foam inside there, which we can just pull right out. Lovely. It's covered in fur. Excellent. All right. So yeah, this is just, you know, standard microphone, you know, audio. Uh, foam stuff. You can buy various kinds of uh, microphone covers and stuff off Amazon for like a couple of bucks. I'll try and find some cheap ones and put some links in the down below for you there in a pinned comment or something. But let's just uh, find a patch that hasn't been too compressed here. Just chop out a little donor piece. Snippity doo da. Like so. There we go. Not so bad. I think we can slim that down just a little bit. We're not going to need that. There we go. So, a little bit of audio foam, about big enough to go over the pogo pins, like so. Uh, I figure we might try and attach this with a bit of blue tack. You know, the, the sticky stuff you put posters up with. Probably good enough for a test. If this works, you're obviously going to want to attach it slightly more permanently. Some, I don't know, a little bit of double sided tape. Probably not super glue. You might want to pull it off again for whatever reason, but let's just see how successful we can be right here. So, we're going to go. Over those pins. Is this going to work? There we go. That's good enough for our test. Right. I did need those. Let's get these out of the way. Put that set back on and see how much of a difference we can make here. Fingers crossed. Okie dokie. Here we go. A little bit of microphone foam. Have we fixed the problem or at least have we addressed the problem somewhat? Let's take a big breath and see how we go. Do we? Still get the lip smacking noises. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm still getting some of it, but are we less plosive than we were before? Sally Struthers built a brick basket because boo pizza. I don't know. What are, what are other plosive words? Plosive is a plosive words. Pizza is a plosive words. Bingo. Basketball. As you can see here, we still are in 100% volume. So let's take that down to about 52%, I suppose. And has that made so significant difference to how we sound? I don't know. I'm going to have to listen to this back. I've actually got it turned way down on my headphone right now because it's hard to talk and record at the same time because there is a little audio delay in how I've rigged this up. So hearing my own voice come back to me at about you know 50 milliseconds later uh, is very distracting for my autism brain. But I just turned it up there and yeah, I am. Um, hasn't really done much. P -p -p. Well, anyway, I tried. The rest is up to matter at this point. We need a much better solution. Hopefully that solution comes in the form of them just letting us use external microphones. There's a USB port right there. There's an audio port right there. It's got Bluetooth built in. There are other options to let us use microphones in standalone apps. And obviously this is not good enough for most people. Certainly not good enough for me. I'm going to be very self-conscious about how I sound whenever I'm in VR chat in standalone mode. Although that said, I don't often use standalone mode for VR chat. That said, it does perform a lot better on the Quest 3 than it does on the Quest 2, so I could be using it more often, and I would like to be able to sound nice and, and not hurt people's brains and ears by how my microphone sounds. Matter, balls on your court. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I am Blunty. Hopefully this has been informative, if not terribly useful. I'll have to uh, see how it sounds when I go into editing and listen to it properly, because doing this live is a bit tricky. Um... But yeah, uh, that pinhole in the front, not your main microphone. That's for noise cancelling. The actual microphone seems to be underneath the bogo pins, which is bizarre. A stupid place to put them right next to your bloody nose. There are so many better options for placing a microphone. Just put it on the corners over here. Just, just you know, a little pinhole underneath where the cameras are in the corners. Something, anything. Not right next to your nose, where all the air comes out. You can hear people breathing. Stupid, stupid, stupid engineering decision. Thanks for watching. I'm Blunty. Thank you as always to the Patreon scrolling up above there, and I will catch you next time.